insist on controlling the internet. Why in the name of a pure internet do governments like China censor and punish and conduct surveillance? Uh, the fable about the scorpion and the dog may explain why. The scorpion and the dog separately approach the deep river. The scorpion asks the dog to uh, swim across and carry him on his back. The dog replied, no, uh, you will fight me, and I will drown, and you too will drown. But the scorpion said, uh, no, I will not bite you. Please carry me across. After much argument, the dog reluctantly agreed with the scorpion. The scorpion climbed on the dog's back. The dog entered the water. Halfway across the river, the scorpion uh, bit the dog. Fatally, and as the dog was drowning, he said to the scorpion, look now, you've killed us both. Why did you bite me? And the scorpion replied, because it is in my nature. There's a great line by Professor Peter Yu in the 2006 book, Who Controls the Internet? He warns that, quote, the question is no longer how the internet will affect China, it is how China will affect the internet. Yes, the Olympics enable us to see that China's practices and policies and vision of the internet are nothing less than an indispensable and integral part of the regime's overall strategy, one, to restrict the media, two, to quash dissent, three, to preserve its hold on political power, and fourth, to extend that power uh, abroad aggressively if necessary. What does China want the international community to adopt as the new norms? First, on the subject of governance, uh, there's a call in the document for international collaboration, a strong organizational authority, not ICANN, to, quote, monitor the quality of services, diagnose, diagnose the faults of operations and arbitrate disputes. The powers to be extended globally by this governance authority are breathtaking in scope, quote, covering all aspects of openness, security, diversity, and access, close quote. The governance authority shall command, quote, firm support of all member states. Regulation of the internet is made necessary by the uh, norm document, and that on six occasions in the document, which only runs for two pages, the words, quote, trustworthy and valuable, close quote, <coughs> describe the content uh, which is authorized on the internet. And then the document channels uh, George Orwell by insisting that the uh, outcome of the adoption of these norms will produce a beautiful dream, peaceful world, happy life, and a better life with the ethics and moralities of consensus uh, driving the uh, internet norm control. Yeah.